Okay, this video is going to show you the connection between Google Classroom and Google Drive. Essentially, Google Drive is a filing cabinet that organizes all of the files that you create in Google Docs or Slides or any of those, and also anything that you um, push out or enter into Google Classroom. So I'm in my Hartley Reading Group sample um, Google Classroom and I had pushed out the assignment uh, copy for everyone of the reading log. So when I click on the reading log I can access the student work this way, go in and make comments as we've already discussed. However, these same documents are also filed for me in my Google Drive automatically done by Google when I create the assignment in Classroom. So I'm going to flop over to my Drive, which is drive.google.com. And in your My Drive, uh, somewhere in there, you're going to have one that's called Classroom, a folder that's called Classroom. Depending on how many items you have will depend on how far down the list that it may be. Once you open Classroom, it is going to give you a folder, it already has this done for you, a folder for every classroom that you have ever um, created or participated in. So all the documents that you have ever shared with any of your classrooms will be filed here for you. So if we go again into the Hartley Reading Group, this actual Google Drive folder is linked up directly with this Google Classroom. So in each Google Classroom folder that you have in Drive, it's going to have one a folder called Templates Do Not Edit. This is where everything that you push out to students, Google automatically makes a blank template for you and saves it um, separately. It's really nice if you reuse things or to go back and edit um, and revise and have a blank copy. Um, also then there will be a folder for every assignment that I've ever created um, for my students. So this one it only had the two. If I go into text exploration then suddenly each student's text exploration work document is going to show up here. Now you'll notice that Yusuf made a copy of the document, saved it as a PDF and edited it and so anything that students add to the assignment will also show up here. So in those cases where you may be having students do an assignment, take a screenshot of it and upload it as a picture, you may be having them create their own documents, they may be um, uploading other links and artifacts, all of those things will be stored right here for you in your drive so that you can easily access them here. Same thing for your students. When your students go to their drive, they will have a classroom folder and they will have a folder then for every classroom that they are in. And from there they can go into the class, they can go into the assignment and access it really simply um, and easily in that way as well.